I'm trying to film videos today. I decided today was gonna be the day I was gonna film videos. And then all my neighbors decided today was the day they were gonna do like their noisiest tasks. We have like deck building happening and lawn mowing and weed whacking. I don't know, but we're just gonna try it. I got my Kevin Bacon shirt on. Let's dance. There is no better scene in any movie than when Kevin Bacon just so mad in an empty warehouse that he just has to dance out his emotions. Am I right? All right guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi. I'm Callie Bransford and I wear Kevin Bacon on my shirt. Today we're talking about Ikea and we're not talking about the things that you usually talk about when you talk about Ikea, which is like furniture and cute baskets because they do have cute baskets. What we are talking about today is some like hidden gems that you might not know exist at Ikea. Like the things that you don't always think about Ikea for, but you can totally get there. So basically these are just going to be sort of like little hidden gems of Ikea. Let's do this. All right, this product looks like this. You might be like, is that a cutting board? It's not a cutting board. This is actually a very cool product. It's like these slats of bamboo or wood or whatever, and they're designed to go over your armchair to create like a little table on any armchair. I love this. When I saw it in the store, I was like, what a cool idea. Cause not only does it look really sleek and really nice, but it's so functional. And I love because of the slats, like if it's a thicker armchair or something that's thinner, but basically it's just going to create wherever you put it, like a little tiny table, just somewhere you can put your drink, you can rest like a book or whatever. I just think this is such a cool and unique idea. All right, this product is from the kitchen department. It is called the over mat. Here they are, what would you guess they are? Like if you didn't know, what would you be like, what is that? Cause when I first saw it, I was like, is that a teething toy for babies? I'm not totally sure. What this is, these are so cool. They're these like stretchy plastic things that you can use to go over cups, over bowls, over plates so that you can store them in your fridge. I think this is such a great idea. And you can literally just use them to put right over produce. So like put them right over a lemon that you cut in half or a cucumber. You can put them right in the dishwasher to clean their dishwasher safe. Such an awesome product. And you get three of them for $3.99. So it's a total steal. All right, moving right along, you might not know that Ikea actually sells fabric. So you can buy fabric by the yard. They have tons of different fabric options. And then there's a self-cutting service station. So you basically just choose the ream of fabric that you want. You bring it over to the table and you can cut your own, um, like however many yards of a fabric that you need. They have lots of fun, unique and trendy patterns. So again, just one of those hidden gems of Ikea that you might not have known existed. Okay, one thing that I love to get at Ikea is their throw pillows. And here's the thing about Ikea throw pillows is you can buy like full throw pillows, but what's great about Ikea is you can buy just the pillow inserts and then you can buy the covers separate. And the actual cover, like pillow covers that you can get at Ikea are super affordable. So it's a really easy way once you own the pillow form, like the insert, it's really easy to switch out for the different covers without having to buy an entire throw pillow. Because if you ever bought a throw pillow, like you go to Home Goods right now or Marshalls or whatever and you walk down the pillow, like why is a throw pillow $45? Why am I spending $90 to get two throw pillows? I do not understand. This is such a better way to do it. Stop wasting your money, buy the pillow form, and then when you wanna switch it up, you just buy new pillow cases. So this is one of my favorite little tricks, and I love the ones at Ikea, because I do find in general, they're like hip, but they're also classic and timeless, so they're not like overly trendy where you're feeling like you have to get a new one every single year. And on the topic of throw pillows, you can also get really great throw blankets at Ikea. They're usually super affordable, and they always look very high-end and luxurious. I've bought one or two of these in the past. I still have them. I just think that they're really great. They come out with different colors and textures all of the time. And the price point on these is really hard to beat. You may not know, but Ikea actually sells like Ziploc bags. And I know saying Ziploc bags is like, that's saying the brand name. Ziploc is a brand. Whenever I talk about food storage, I always say Tupperwares. And I can't tell you how many people in comments have called me out for calling all food storage bins Tupperwares. I'm aware Tupperware is a brand name. I'm sorry, but in my mind, if food goes in it and there's a top and it's plastic, I'm gonna call it a Tupperware. I'm gonna call these Ziplocs. They're not Ziplocs, what are they? They're plastic baggies, okay? With the resealable tops. Anyways, Ikea sells them in all sorts of sizes. I think that the price point on these is really great and I think they're really nice quality I was just gonna say Ziploc bags, plastic baggies. I actually really prefer these to some of the name brands ones I can get in my grocery store, but I find that the price point on these are better than buying the name brand ones at my grocery store. So I always like to stock up on them when I get them. All right, we're just gonna keep going with food storage. I love these 
I'm not gonna call them Tupperwares. I'm gonna call them glass food storage containers. They sell this uh, line where it's the glass and then they have these wooden tops. And a lot of them are interchangeable, so they have a few different sizes where this size top fits on them. What's really cool is, like I said, you can use this top on multiple ones. They have like taller ones and then smaller ones, and it's the same top. And not only do I just think these look really nice, the wood just makes them look really pretty. I mean, not that we need our fridge to look pretty, but if it does, it doesn't hurt. But what I love about these is they have a little lip on them, so they're actually stackable, which is really nice. So you can stack them right up. And besides just the wooden tops that fit on multiple size glass bottoms, you can get different tops for them as well. So you can get um, glass tops that have the same like airtight seal. You can get um, the like locking plastic tops. And then you can also get these silicone tops that can go right in the microwave or in the oven. So this is also very cool because again, you can buy multiple sized bottoms and then you can have multiple tops and they all fit within each other, which is super, super cool. And then a good segue from that is is into these little wooden bowls. These little wooden bowls are $6 each and they are just like the perfect little serving bowls to, in my opinion. They're one of those bowls that's like the perfect size where it's, it's not like a size for sauce, but it's obviously not big enough that you're gonna eat like cereal in it, but you need that in between size for things like salsas and guacamoles and like if you're doing chips and dip. They're just one of those pieces that you use a ton. They're gonna look beautiful on charcuterie boards. They're gonna look great when you're hosting. Use them for different sauces and condiments on a tablescape. I just think these are a great find. On the topic of these little wooden bowls, another thing that you might not know IKEA sells is they actually have in the kitchen section a variety of handmade items and they're all distinguished with these little handmade stickers. I think these are so beautiful. This one tells me that this one is a handmade bowl by social entrepreneurs in Thailand. But keep your eyes out for these little handmade stickers on some of their kitchen stuff to find something a little more unique and out of Ikea's typical zone. One of my favorite things to get at Ikea is their dish towels. These in general, they have like some of the standard patterns that are always there, but then I find that, I feel like every time I go, they have like one that's kind of new. I don't know if it's like seasonal or if they just bring out different themes or they work with designers or whatever it is. Cause I don't want to spend a bunch, bunch of money on a dish towel, to be honest, because I'm using it to like wipe up kitchen mess. But I hang my dish towels where people can see them. So I kind of want them to be pretty, but like I don't want to spend a bunch of money on it because eventually they're gonna get stained and like gross. I also have a set that I got last year. It was just really pretty, like different variety of plaids. And I actually use those as napkins when I'm like hosting, I want to do nice, um, fabric napkins, they work really, really great for that as well. So they're just super versatile. Just not something you always think of to get at Ikea, but I love the dish towels and I never pass them up. I always see what they have every time I go. All right, moving right along. Did you know Ikea had a pet section? Because I didn't for the longest time, but they actually sell all sorts of pet stuff. You can get really affordable pet beds. I think that this is really fun because they come in all sorts of great patterns. They also have cat cubes and cat scratching po posts and like tunnels for cats. So it goes beyond just pet beds. They literally have a huge variety. They even have furniture that's specific for cats with like little cubbies for them to sleep in. Every Ikea is different, but it's in the like storefront or like the market place version of Ikea is where you will find this stuff. Okay, next up is what's called the Lorby. I don't know, which I even attempt to pronounce these. It's got an accent over the O. I don't know if that means Lobby, Lorby. Anyways, this is just a little USB charger. So it plugs into your wall, then it has three spots for USBs. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like everything I own just charges by USB nowadays. But this USB charger is especially unique because you can use it one of four ways. One, the actual compartment itself is magnetic, so it can stick right onto anything that's metal. Two, the back of it has two holes for screws, so you could screw two holes into a wall and secure it this way. Thirdly, it comes with a 3M um, like sticky back piece, so you can stick one piece to the USB charger and then stick it literally anywhere. And then lastly, it comes with this little clamp so you can clamp it onto any table or desk or nightstand. I've never seen a four in one USB charger like this. I think it is just super unique and versatile for any charging problem. Another product great to get at Ikea is their doormats. They're super cute, colorful, bright, a great price point. So if you're just looking for a fun little doormat, I like them because they're like that coconut fiber, which I find to be super effective because you, you also want something that you can like wipe your feet off on. Um, but they just have fun little quirky doormats to have like on a back porch or whatever. Next product is these suction cups. These work amazing in bathrooms because they stick right to any um, like smooth surface like tile or glass and they create a really nice 
stronghold. And what's really cool is there's an entire line that goes with these suction cups. So you can use them as just hooks, but you can also get a towel bar, a little caddy, a soap dish. So tons of different options, depending on different bathroom storage needs that you might have. So very, very cool. Um, line is this Tiskin line. Let's just talk about the kids department. Ikea has some really great finds for kids. Personally, I picked up this little set of felt vegetables. I've actually been looking, I don't know if they're felt or cotton or whatever, but I've personally been looking for a set of fabric vegetables for my son to use. For a while I thought about getting plastic ones and then I was gonna get wooden ones and somebody mentioned to me, they're like, don't get the wooden ones because they're just too hard. And if your kid like throws them, that's a bad idea. And then I got really hooked on the idea of doing fabric ones, which I thought were really nice. But looking for fabric vegetables online, they're very, very expensive. And when I saw this little set, I couldn't believe it. And they had a ton of different varieties. I got the little veggie basket, but they had like a croissant one and like a bakery one and all sorts of different options. It's literally a 15 piece set. So this was a total steal in the kids department. But the kids department has all sorts of great finds that you, you might not always think of going to Ikea for kids toys and kids products, but they have a ton of great options. Ikea also has some great kids furniture. Personally, I love their activity tables. This one is one of my favorites. It has the two pieces um, that come out from the top so you can store um, cars under there, you can store trains, you can store art supplies, and way more affordable than a lot of the other ones you can find online. And last but not least, never forget about the Ikea reusable bags. I have their traditional uh, blue one. This one was out for Pride Month. These are such a great price point and what I love about the Ikea totes is you can't beat the size. They are humongous. Sometimes you don't need a huge tote bag but sometimes the little reusable bags they're not the right size. Like I'm doing a big shopping haul to Target or Aldi or whatever. I need a big bag and I feel like Ikea is the only place that does them and does them well. Alright my friends that does it. That was some really unique and interesting Ikea finds that you might not know existed. Some things that you might not think of to get at Ikea but to keep your eyes peeled for next time you're there. But that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!